everybody, it's Boaz Filer in Georgia and we're here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for July 19th, 2016. It's a full moon day and there's so much energy in the sky. We begin this morning with a moon that is still conjunct Pluto. It's a dramatic time and it can be both beneficial or not so much. It depends if we take it to the more intimate and profound side or to angry, insulted, um, dramatic side. And please try to keep it in proportions. Later on, there's a, a trying to Jupiter. It's a benevolent time. It's an optimistic time. It's a time of plenty, and that's good. And then the moon is quiet until the evening time in Europe. That's uh, early uh, noon in the States. And then it squares Uranus. And that's a time that we should not be too insistent on things that are not that important. It's a time that we should be wiser and not right all the time. It's a time that we should be more flexible and soft and not too stubborn. Later than that, there's a sextile to Chiron, a sextile to Mars. It's around 1900 hours Central European time, around 1300 hours Eastern Standard Time. Very, very energetic time. And just after that, the moon turns full in whole. We can utilize this energetic wave to do and progress things at work, in our career environments, and of course, any physical activity and uh, activity with people that we enjoy our, the company of, going out, visiting galleries, visiting uh, museums, visiting uh, any other places that we want to visit. This is a good time to put those uh, uh, energetic, th that energetic wave into action, even if it's just fixing your house up or whatever. And the moon is going to be beautiful. Go, it's going to be very bright. Go out and see it from sunset onwards. Other than the moon, some other things happening in the sky. Mercury is trining Saturn and it's queen conquering Neptune. And what does that mean? It means that this is a good time for us to really think about how we're going to navigate our life onwards, how we're going to plan our life onwards. But we have to do it in a realistic way. We could not be too fantastic or too naive about how I are, how I'm sorry about our ideas and our goals. We really have to put them on the ground of reality and make a business plan that looks on the um, more pessimistic side, so we can be pleasantly surprised. And there's a. Uh, Sesky square to Chiron from Mercury, so that means that we really need to watch how we say things and when we say them and be tactful about things so that we don't suffer from what we say or from the consequences of what we say. Venus is trining Saturn as well. That's, that means that we are more adult, responsible and contained regarding our relationships and the way we approach money in our lives and that's not a bad thing. So. Thank you very much for listening. On behalf of Georgia and myself, may you have a very beautiful day. This is Buzz Fighter. Goodbye.